So Joseph had a question on the cloth assimilation on Samurai. He's asking, any ideas to make these cloth better? The cloth keep going over, and I don't know what option to change to stop that. Uh, well, let's take a look. So I guess he's talking about the poncho, and that goes going over the head. So this is kind of a common um, issues with with cloth simulation. You have a character have fast action shots um, that would do that. So uh, I can show you how to solve that. So in Maya, I set up a simple little scene with a sphere and uh, and the grid, so act as a cape. So you can imagine this is a poncho, maybe this is kind of where the shoulder and the head is. I'll just make these guys to into end cloth real fast. Actually, let me see what I should do here. I should do... end cloth. It's going to make these uh, input measure tracked. Looks like it's already on, but I will need to change some settings and then uh, okay. Should be good if I simulate. Let's take a look. So I guess it's pretty similar. I, it's not as dramatic, but you can see it's kind of flipping over. The idea is not to flip over. And yeah, so we can try to do that. Let's see. Just going to change a couple more settings. I think maybe that's okay. Well, maybe this shows a little bit better. Alrighty, so what you can do is you can actually constrain the nucleus to your character. Um, generally, would constrain to the hip or to the head, whichever that you feel is going to be um, the center of the character. So what I can do is, I don't really have a center of the character here, but I will just do a rough um, constraint here. Well, first thing is I'm gonna just do a, rib uh, a rivet. So what I need to do is go to animation, deform, muscle, bonus ray again, and then create uh, surface attach. So this kind of creates a rivet for me that I can use later on. Then I'm also going to create a locator in the center of the grid. So you have the like second two objects there, right? And what I will do is I will select these two, then I'll select the nucleus, then go to deform, sorry, go to constraint, and then you can do just point constraint, maintain offset off, and then do create. You notice the nucleus actually pop, uh, moved to in between these two locators. So the locator up here, and then the locator in the middle, then the nucleus is kind of somewhere in between. Mm -hmm. When you look at the constraint, mm -hmm. Which doesn't really show. Yep, 
Yeah, so let's look at the constraint here. Oh, it's not this one. It's this one. Uh, you notice there is a value of a one on each locator. Basically, this is kind of uh, 0.5 and 0.5. So technically, do this. That would that would be exactly the same. Um, so I'll just switch to one, and if we play now, so basically now I'm cutting the motion into half. Uh, this is it kind of works like a multiplier. So when I do that, you notice the motion isn't as fast. Um, if you want to fully neutralize it, you can actually make the nucleus go to uh, go to the character, and then you'll notice basically the cloth will not have any uh, velocity or follow through after that. And you know, obviously, if you do the opposite, this will be kind of the same as before, where the nucleus is always in the origin, and then you will get um, the same result that what you have before. So hopefully that helps you. And um, yeah, you can play around with the constraint values and kind of dial in a little bit better if you want to. Uh, you can do 0.75 and 0.25. That kind of makes two-third or three-fourth um, type of motion for you. So yeah, good luck.